Welcome to Stave Draws, I'm Stave a Dutch artist. I've created the Stave Engrave brush set to use in Procreate to make illustrations in the style of the 16th century. They're now available on Gumroad. For a museum exhibition I had to draw illustrations in the wood engraving style. I created these brushes over a period of three years and they're now finally available as a brush set for Procreate. I studied wood engraving by different artists like Albrecht Dürer, Gustave Doré and many others. Wood engraving is a relief process. You have to cut away the white in the drawing in order to keep the line. These brushes you can use in both ways, engraving, erasing and etching, drawing. The brushes are named after the engrave tools that are used for wood engraving for print. Stave Ink Big This brush lets you cut away big sections of your drawing. It can also be used to ink in the wide variety and on high resolution images. Stave Stick Picker Big the stick picker is used to cut away lines in your drawing. You can use it with the erase tool to cut away sections or use it with the brush tool to draw. You have to draw slowly with this brush to get the precision you want if you want to draw parallel lines. This brush has a lot of stabilization to achieve this. This is the widest stick picker. Stave Stick Picker Medium this stick picker has a medium width to achieve the same effect as his bigger brother. Stave stick picker small. The stick picker has a small width to achieve the same effect as his bigger brother. Stave engrave dot. In engraving you can also create small dots. With this brush you can use the eraser and brush to create small dots to build up a gradient and interesting effects. Stave Engrave Dots This brush has multiple dots to create a dotted effect. You can use it to create a gradient in metal or create foliage with the eraser or brush. Stave Tint 3 There are 5 tint brushes in this brush set. You can use them with the erase tool and with the brush tool. In engraving you can create tints with cross hatching. This brush has three lines to speed up the process. Stave Tint 6 This brush has six lines to create parallel lines when you draw or erase. You can also use it for cross hatching. Stave Tint 7 This brush has seven parallel lines with the random structure to create a more analog effect. You can draw and erase with this brush and also cross hatch. Stave Tint 10 This brush has 10 parallel lines to erase or to draw with. You can also use it for cross hatching. Stave Tint 16 This brush has 16 parallel lines to erase or to draw with. You can also use it for cross hatching. This brush really speeds up the process of cross hatching. Stave Edge Rake. This brush creates parallel lines and is set to the canvas. By default, it creates perpendicular lines. When you rotate the canvas with 90 degrees, it creates horizontal lines. When you rotate your canvas in different degrees, the brush will be set to the degree. This brush is great for drawing skies or filling in the tint in larger areas. Stave Edge Rake Fine This brush creates smaller lines as the Stave Edge Rake. You can create the same effects with it. Stave Line Calligraphy this brush follows the stroke, 
creating a calligraphic style when drawing. This is great for writing text or using for tints that you want to taper down your lines with. This brush has six parallel lines. The brush set is now available on Gumroad. I'll leave a link below this video. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.